What's up? I just want to give you a quick heads up. When I'm talking in this clip, my voice is distorted, so I want to make sure you're able to adjust the volume for your ears or whatever, make sure they don't hurt. But the conversation is too good for you not to hear it, so we went ahead and made the clip anyway. This is from episode four of No Labels Necessary. The future episodes are just fine audio-wise. Check this out. The information is too good to miss. Crystals. You know Crystal's a restaurant? Yeah. You ain't seen their ad? No. <laughs> they, 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 they're coming up, man. They're is that Brittany to, Renner? They, I think that is Brittany Renner. No, do you, do Renner. you think that's Brittany Renner? Yeah, yeah. Damn, so like <laughs> little, little, look, yeah. Check, <laughs> check, check, check this shit out, bro. Attention. A 10 is speaking. These three new Crystal side chicks are thicker, juicier, and crispier than ever. Keep your main thing if you want. We just want to be your side chick. Oh. Bro, I didn't know where that was going. Bruh. I didn't know where that was going, bro. That is so fucking genius, bro. That's <laughs> that's so genius, bro. Who at the Crystals marketing team thought to put that together, bro? That's what I want to know. I uh, I am glad you asked. <laughs> Check this out, man. Check this yeah. out. Crystals, Brittany, Renner, commercial. <laughs> All right, let's see if they say it without bam. Two chains mm. and crystals launch sidekick camp, sidekick campaign with Brittany Renner. Two chains. <laughs> hey, he got the sauce. He had the vision. He did, bro. He, he had the vision. That's a, that's a that's a damn genius uh, ad idea. I can't even <laughs> lie. Like I don't know. I don't know if I would have came up with that. Bro, I think I got it as like a YouTube B roll <laughs> ad or something, bro. That shit threw me off, man. Cause and then I was like, wait, you know, I looked, I was like, who's that? Yeah. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> then I was like, this is Brittany Renner. Oh, she get me every time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I might go to uh, Crystal's after I leave me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think I saw one on the way over here. <laughs> yo, yo. So I, it's a lot of things that I I got from this man. Like <laughs> one, it's beautiful to see artists take their creativity and apply it in yeah, a corporate sphere, right? Yeah. Like, cause that's a very real path. And there's so many ways to get the money these days. If you show creativity to so artists, and we have more examples of this, we actually need to break this down at some point. But when you build out your career, if you go about it in a way cre that's truly creative, cr truly thoughtful, then you're basically creating a portfolio. Mm. All right. Like mm -hmm. people see your vision, the ability to execute it, the way you um, understand aesthetics, the way you are able to talk to a certain audience. They respect that. Yeah. Like you, you see how that translated for somebody like Pharrell and, and Kanye versus right, an artist that you're just hacking TikTok and hacking like some of these playlists or just other types of marketing to get the streams. And that's great because that's not necessarily every artist. Every artist, it doesn't necessarily have a true creative directive visual, you know, a vision. Right? Yeah. Like Tyler, the creator, somebody who could do something like that, right? Yeah, 100%. A lot of artists don't necessarily have it, and you are just more from a music standpoint. And that's great, too. But the ones who are truly, truly, like, you're creative and that's your bag, and I know shit is more expensive to do that way, the production value, but the long term is you you can do stuff like this and people respect you for it. Yeah, that's a good point. I never thought about like the creative assets being the artist's way of building up a portfolio. That, I never, but yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Cause you know, in music, you don't think about things like a portfolio or resume, yeah. you know, unless you like on the back end trying to get a job, but that's <laughs> exactly yeah. what it is. Cause they probably like, oh, well two chains has, you know, the, the billboard, was it billboard? No, the GQ show that he did, right? He got, you know, GQ show. Two Chains has really creative and amazing videos. He got a lot of videos of it. The whole crazy. Pink, pink trap house stuff. Yeah, yeah that stuff. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That was a crazy rollout. Yeah. yeah. So he, yeah, he yeah. has a crazy portfolio, but I never exactly. thought about that. Exactly. And like the testament of what Two Chains has done creatively or had done around his brand creatively, even though it was through collaborations is the fact that when you found out that it was two chains, you weren't completely like surprised. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it may, actually made it make sense. It made it make sense, <laughs> right? So it's it's an interesting thing. And on the other side, right? You gotta look at this Britney Renner situation and compare it with I Our think Meg, Meg did something with like Popeyes and oh, Sweetie yeah. did something with maybe McDonald's. We know Travis yeah. did McDonald's thing. Yeah. Like so there's these opportunities to use your cultural 
like savvy or cultural currency to monetize in ways that weren't available before because all these brands are understand the culture is valuable more and more so they're like how can we get in and they're not being they're being shameless about it back in the day you know in, in the 90s still and you know the tommy hill figures all, all like a lot of these brands they became aware some of them became aware but they weren't truly acknowledging it mm-hmm. now they stuff like this they're shamelessly <laughs> chasing it down like how can we get in yeah. and we know that we got to use some of these actors in the community to to you know get that attention yeah so like the opportunities that are going to come for artists or anybody who makes themselves a character in the community because obviously you know britney isn't an artist but like like i said to travis and and uh and Sweetie and and Meg have all had those type of collaborations. But this is another thing that was genius about, let me see if I could find it, about crystals that I appreciated from this. Let's see, I'm gonna find it real quick. I know they talked about it in um, Complex too. Uh, let me see. At, at Crystal, we are here to disrupt the QSR, that's quick service restaurant, something like that, landscape, and are excited to be working with Brittany Renner as she has a pulse on the culture. See, pulse. Like mm-hmm. That's what they're looking for, right? We know everyone has a favorite already, so instead of fighting to be your go-to, we're happy to be your little something on the side. That's right? beautiful. That's beautiful. Beautifully that's stated. That's beautiful. <laughs> And what makes it even better is understanding your market position. Yeah. We know we aren't going to beat McDonald's. We know we aren't going to beat whoever is ahead of them. It's a lot ahead of Crystals. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, I got a, a steep hill. But building that brand <laughs> as something on the side, like so, there's a lot of power in being Lyft and not Uber. Yeah. Like, there's still a lot of money on the table. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yeah, you might have your appetizers when you're at McDonald's and all these other places, but just as a whole, it's the second option. I'm going to go to Crystals. And they need to stick the landing, right? This is something that brings initial attention. There's a lot of follow up, right? So we talk about create conversation for the rollout, mm-hmm. right? This creates conversation. You got to keep following up. There's more things that they need to do to stick the landing and make sure it stays in people's minds as a, a second option. But boy, did they did they aim, ready, aim, fire, and and hit that that yeah. spot with this one. Pardon my interruption, it's Brand Man Sean here, and I gotta take a quick second and say, if you appreciate this information, if you wanna see more of how to build, market, and brand yourself from people who are really doing it and have some of our peoples who also are doing things in the industry come around and drop gems on y'all, hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, hit it, hit it, hit it, that's it. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Yeah, only thing I wish they did differently because you said you you got it as a YouTube ad, right? I think I got. I'm pretty sure that I got it as a YouTube ad. Um, if not that, now nah, it had to be a YouTube ad. It had, or I might have ran across it on as an ad on like a Instagram or something. But I'm pretty sure I saw it as an ad. I already know. I already know what you're gonna say. You wish they did differently. Go ahead. Wish go they ahead. made it a meme strategy, bro. <laughs> wish they made it a meme made strategy. Need to make it a meme it's strategy. Perfect for it. Like it's, it's made for it, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and like the internet, well, the meme culture in particular is no stranger to Britney Renner as a brand. She's been, she's the face of hello, yes, memes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it would be perfect, bro. I don't see enough corporations doing that, like taking advantage of meme strategy. I think, and I don't think they quite understand that part of it yet. Yeah. We saw Wendy's really uh, take advantage of like Twitter, right? Yeah. And Netflix does it. Netflix uh, will do what's it. Netflix do? They do it around like a code of movies. Like when Bird Box came out, they was using meme strategy. Like oh yeah, 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 yeah. They do that. They, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But I think that's clearer to them because movies are entertainment industry. Yeah, it's right? Still entertainment. Yeah, that's yeah. that industry. I think play. You know, restaurants and some of these other out, um, who are outside of the entertainment industry, they're starting to understand how we use entertainment figures in culture. But yeah, they don't quite understand all the marketing strategies that are available when you go that route. Yeah, yeah. Like I can't believe. I'm have to go back and look through the shade room or something. Like, I refuse to believe nobody posted about about. Hey this. man, hey man, hey, you know how this <laughs> goes, bro. They see the meme pages are. Yeah. If they see, <laughs> you know how to. If they, <laughs> hey, I got this this uh campaign. What are your prices? Oh yeah, it's four hundred dollars. All right, bet you send it over. Yes, crystals and Britney Winter. Oh, crystals and actually, we're two thousand dollars for a corporate. <laughs> you know they're going to run. They run the prices up. So 
I don't even, I, pr- I think they probably didn't because Crystal's probably would have still invested in the higher price. Right? Yeah. yeah. But that's how it goes, right? They they literally will just say, oh, yeah, no, our corporate fees, which makes literally no sense. It's no, it's, oh, I know you got more money, yeah. so I'm going to charge you more. That's what they literally <laughs> tell you. <laughs> but the <laughs> but the thing is, what did I, what did I just say? Uh, oh, they probably didn't go that route, so they probably didn't get the prices risen on them. But on the other side, you know these companies on the meme side, if they recognize something like that, they'll also say, ah, no, nah, I'm not going to pay. I'm not going to post unless they pay me because they know that they're advertising something. Yeah. It's like, you know, understanding your value type of thing. Yeah. So we see that unless, all right, the power of popping, when you get something popping, then they got to chase it because they know it's going to give them views, which is yeah. still value for them. So you didn't have to pay them, but they post it anyway because they're like, hey, shoot, it's a conversation. I got to be a part of the conversation. So I guess they didn't understand how to quite get it popping. Um, but this is also the beginning, so maybe it's coming. You know, maybe they're yeah, just true. laying the yeah. groundwork, or maybe they're listening to this podcast, and y'all gonna give us a little video, you know, a little fee, oh, yeah, um, you know, for this game <laughs> we just dropped on y'all. Yeah, but I would love to be a part of that, bro, because I, I see Hell the vision. Yeah. I see the vision for it. Hell yeah, like Chris was doing a lot culturally though right now, because remember they got the one over in Howell Mill that had um, they did the whole cultural movement like Keith. Uh, did the influencer event there? Oh yeah, and they decked yeah. it out, made it the whole hip hop culture. Yeah, Crystal has been going hard recently. Yeah, like, I don't know what's on the agenda for this this next coming year, but it does feel bro, strange. You know what's on the agenda? We, we are on the agenda. <laughs> we are the agenda, bro. There's a video. I'm a I'm a pull it out. We're gonna probably have to do a whole talk on this. It's called How to Sell to Negroes. Yeah, I think I've, I've seen that. I had never seen it before. I just saw some of it. We gotta talk about that. Yeah. One. <laughs> we, we're gonna do a whole little just like side pod special topic, bro, because that is interesting. It brings out a lot of shit. Yeah. Brings out a lot of shit. Most of hearts, you like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. The nail on the head. Yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> All right, but check this out too. Appreciate you watching. Fun fact, every time you soak up one of these gems, you get a little bit smarter from these clips. So if you want to be a gem seeker, collect all the gems. Keep watching. I'll see you in the next clip.